Hi, this is Sherry Campbell with Energy Realty, and I'm here today with Jean Prados. Um, she's one of my most seasoned, seasoned agents at Energy Realty, having been in the business over 30 years. And I think she's probably seen this in industry change more than any of us. And one of the things that we're faced with today is this new thing out there called iBuyer. So what the heck is iBuyer? It's these, um, these companies that are starting up all over the place, and everyone's jumping on the bandwagon, and they're trying to say, you can actually sell your home quickly, we'll buy it from you. They're kind of turning it into what I relate to car ownership. Um, you know, if you, everyone in, in our society today seems to want to own a car for three years and then they want to jump on to the next biggest, newest, better thing, right? So we're going to change our car out every three years. We don't typically change our home every three years, not usually. Um, although we would say the average home buyer is doing that. So Jean is going to kind of highlight the three reasons why an iBuyer program might not be right for you. The first reason is, is that your home should be, and usually is, the greatest investment that you have. Um, in years past, everybody expected to either stay in their house for 10 years or stay in it for the rest of their life and raise their children there. Those times have changed, but yet it still is one of the most important investments that most people make, far, far greater than a car, and yet they almost liken it to the same. So it's incredibly important that people get a professional real estate agent to help guide them through that process. There are a lot of ins and outs of the contracts, and if you don't have somebody that's, that's very professional and very educated and um, understands all the nuances of the, um, the contract and the addenda that are also involved, you could get in trouble. The second reason is that um, the iBuyer is typically a company or investors who group together or one investor who is out there to make money. That's as simple as that. Um, they kind of take advantage of people who might be in a desperate situation, who for whatever reason, you know, need to sell their house quickly. Um, I mean, were they transferred? Is it an estate? They never intend to live in it. Um, are they getting a divorce? I mean, you just never know. But they take advantage and uh, they, you know, come in and say, oh yes, I'll give you, you know, cash for your house within days. Um, but the truth of the matter is, they're not there for you. They're there to make money. And, you know, statistics have shown that over, overall, uh, people pay considerably more to sell their house that way, reaping less benefits, of course. The, the third reason is, as I said originally, you need to hire a professional real estate agent that will be looking out for your best interests, not an investor looking out for his best interests. And the only way you can do that is to get somebody that is, you know, a professional who uh, will look out for your interests and who you can rely on. Thank you.